A ceasefire agreement was announced today in Ethiopia's long civil war. It allows for control of the capital city by a rebel group known as the EPRDF. The announcement came as U.S.-sponsored peace talks between the government and several rebel groups began in London. We have a report by Simon Cole of Worldwide Television News. Ethiopian Prime Minister Dinka, with his capital surrounded by rebels, knew his government would have to step down. All morning, rebel delegations came and went before the American brokers announced the breakthrough. As I speak, a ceasefire is being announced in Addis Ababa by the interim government. In order to reduce uncertainties and eliminate tensions in the city, and after consulting with all of the parties, the United States government is recommending that the forces of the EPRDF enter the city as soon as possible to help stabilize the situation. We want unity! We want unity! But the deal didn't please exiles who shouted for unity. Ethiopians against war simply don't trust the EPRDF. In the short term, we feel that this proposal will only secure a bogus and short-lived peace. In the long run, we view it is like asking Ethiopia to sign her own death warrant. After telephone negotiations, the EPRDF arrived personally to reassure the Americans that they can control events in Ethiopia. Now they have to convince a people tired of war. Late today, there were conflicting reports about whether the rebel troops had in fact taken control in the Ethiopian capital. At first, rebel radio said they had entered Addis Ababa, but later reports said they were prepared to do so.